Obviously, a deal for your first signing of the January transfer window is done. Talk to us about your thoughts on why you've moved now for Cody, why he's been on your radar for a while now, and when he might be available. I think the first two kind of questions are. Um, the answer is pretty easy. It's obvious because he's a really, really, really good player. So the, the package is really interesting. The edge is in is in the potentially shows the, the um, or has and uh, the quality he, he showed already um, in Holland and um, with the national team as well. So it makes him a really, really interesting player, and um, that's why we were very interested um, to get him in. And I'm really happy that we could do it. So. Big for us, really big for him as well. So it's cool. He's obviously delighted about um, joining us, and um, yeah, everything will be good. So great, great day. Let me say it like this. Um, when he might be available? What I heard now. So we are obviously very early, um, which is good. Um, well, there might be a chance for Brentford, but I, I think not really. To be honest, um, uh, because obviously, first of January is a bank holiday, and then um, the, 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 all the papers which we don't have to sign, but some other people there would have to be signed on the second until twelfth, so lunchtime. <laughs> I'm I'm not too positive that that will happen. So, but we don't we will not rush it anyway. So, um, probably uh, Wolves. Did you have Virgil having a word with him as well? By the way, sorry. Did you have Virgil having a word with? Just yeah, b before he technically signed, yes, but not. Uh, Verge was involved from a specific moment on, um, but we didn't tell him talk to him because there was no reason for it. And when, when I was allowed to speak to him, I spoke to him, and um, that, yeah, it's, it was it's of these some of these nice moments when you are Liverpool man, the manager of Liverpool FC, and you run, you re realize you think you have to convince somebody, and then you realize during the talk, oh, the door is wide open, so. This is more or less a home run, um, and it was it was cool. Then, um, so we didn't need Virgil to 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 convince him. Um, and but after that, obviously, Virgil is anyway likes to be involved in these kind of things. And from a specific moment on, he had to say as well. But all good. Obviously, I have to ask you, what scope is there for further signings in this window? In particular, maybe reinforcements in midfield. We've obviously spoken to you a bit about Jude Bellingham. Yeah, yeah. So I, I like I like the. And Tony reminded me now. I like the, very much the, 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 the what what Pep Linda said. We discuss these things in the boardroom and not in the press room. So um, and on top of that, what was the, the, to bring in Cody in the way we brought him in, for example, is again a, a really good sign. And especially the, the job Jules did was exceptional. And um, well, quite a few people were involved and knew about it. And anyway, nothing came out, which is. Very, very helpful um, in, in, in all departments, and um, I think that worked out for us quite frequently. And that's why you will not really expect me to answer your question.